hope and pray that all of you are doing great and may the good lord who is ever present with us may continuously walk with us and talk with us and protect us in all the circumstances we are going through and let us turn to our chapter 1 verse 5 verse let the wise listen and add to their learning and let the discerning get guidance and if we go to prob chapter 9 verse 9 we can see that instruct to the wise and they will be wise still teach the righteous and they will add to their learning so when we instruct the wise they will add to their learning here also says that the wise listen and to add to their learning to so listening and learning and someone instructing the wise and learning two things here one is that you know we can observe things and also learn a lot of things we have, we can be still we can be silent and we can observe the things and we can learn it when i newly got married because it was in a new culture and i am from the southern part of india and i got married to the northern part of india the different two different cultures two different, two different uh, you know languages customs and you know there are a lot of things which i never knew it but when i got married the first thing i has did it that i was observing you know and uh, even through observing we can learn it we can observe how the family does the things how each person you know uh, relate to others and what is their relations and you know uh, what is my relation with them the different family backgrounds and you know the different relationships a lot of new relations and i was really praising the lord because the next uh, some days and months i was in observation almost i can say that some years i was not much speaking but i was observing and still today number of the time i do observe things and learn it and here the holy bible also teaches that we have to you know observe and learn that is one thing is that we can see that you know um when we look into the jewish cult- cultures and customs the small kids they teach them the children listen and learn and also they observe the parents and learn and today's you know christian families are is you know we have to think about uh you know are we a role model before our children you know this he or she learned from me my daughter does my daughter does my son learn from me and it's a very important for each christian it's not only for a parents and child relationship it is also brother and sister and all other relationships you know i would like to say and praise the lord for that because god has set you know a great example you know among the people where god has kept us a sign of love to bring them close to god's uh, you know presence and here also say that we have to listen and learn and i even i say that i was not knowing this uh, national language of india hindi and i knew how to read i knew how to write but i never knew how to communicate it how to speak i never understood how the people are speaking because in different uh, you know region they had different style of speaking and i couldn't recognize it but indeed it was my desire and i saw i was start to listen and understand listen and learn it in the same way i speak about english because my vernacular language is malayalam i studied in malayalam medium and i just learn english the beginning i was listening you know so listen and learn so when a wise here says that let the wise listen and add it to their learning you know it's not only a language it is not only a custom but it is our 
life style or behavior must be changed we have to have the behavior and life style of jesus christ how jesus lived on the earth and when that you know caught peter what caught up you know by the uh, you know people the sewing girl and others you know the time jesus crucifixion and we can see that how peter's voice his speech his accent the way of his communication made others to understand he was with jesus and are we aware of the presence of jesus with us as we are always in the presence of jesus and our language must be the language of love the language of faithfulness the language of truthfulness the language of the righteousness and god really want us to reflect christ while we live on the earth and let the wise learn to the you know add to their learning and you know when we think about wise the wise person will always think and speak think and behave think and act so we have to think about that how jesus was on the earth how jesus was communicating to the people it's not he was speaking what or was coming in his mind but he was speaking he was uh, you know received from the holy spirit received from his father what father wanted him to speak he was speaking and how the father want him to work he was working how the father want him to act he was acting and in his behavior parents were were as the way father want we are a human being and we are a lot of uh, you know uh, means uh, imperfect have imperfections in our lives but we still it's not we cannot make excuse in our life we we have to renew our characters each day as we give you know the vehicles uh, you know in the gear uh, you know for uh, you know repairing or we just give the vehicles you know uh, we just give for you know lot of uh, repairing works so let us see today and each day as we cleanse the home and you know we just uh, broom it mop it and dust it and uh, how we clean our home and the way we have to clean our behaviors and characters you know thoughts and actions you know speech and everything we have to represent christ and being you know human but we got the sonship in christ jesus so we have to produce the sonship and the authority and the kingdom purpose god has kept us and we have to enter into the kingdom and the character of christ in nature may reflect in enter our life we have to live as wise people on the earth not like fools and our foolish ways of talkings and behaviors patterns we have to stop it we are associated with the people those who really rooted in god's word let us not to be you know united with the passions of the world because the bible teaches that the love uh, love of the world and the friendship with the world is enmity to god and let us keep our love relationship with the jesus christ intimacy with the jesus christ so that this world will know that we are the disciples of jesus christ that we can produce christ in nature to them we can produce the love in nature to them we can produce christ in nature to them and we become like christ on the earth and the purpose which god has kept us on the earth that we can fulfill in and through our lives so let us commit our life today as we are getting time and as we are getting time today it's not tomorrow we will do something no tomorrow is not ours let us think about today what i can do the best today what i can do for others or for myself and for my edification of spiritual life how much more i can pray how much spend time i can think about god 24/7 god is with us make sure we should be aware of his presence and be wise and fight against the satanic realms let the almighty god continuously bless us may his presence may continuously bless us may he help us to become the radiant christians and radical christians for christ may the lord bless you all amen amen